My name is Jeff Ward. I'm the general manager of the Member 2 Heritage Park. I'm Megamon Ilnu, from, uh, originally from uh, Medabanagia, and I live here now in Member 2. The Medicine Wheel is, is a teaching. It's an ancient symbol, if you want to put it in today's terms. And it teaches many, many things. And there's many versions or many teachings of the Medicine Wheel, depending on your teachers or where you are from. Uh, the medicine wheel is taught, it can be stones that are in a circle. The stones that are around the fire. The stones that are around a sweat lodge. Or the inside of your drum is a medicine wheel. Because it talks about Mother Earth. It talks about the cycle of life. It talks about the seasons. It talks about your life from when you were a baby to a little child to a young adult to an elder to when you pass over now of course one of the symbols you're going to see a lot of times is this symbol here and it's symbol it's broken into four areas that's important because in order for us to exist here on mother earth you need four elements you need air water earth and fire we cannot exist you take out one you take away water, we can't exist. You need four elements. So that's why you'll see medicine wheels divided into four, which is very important. Four stages of your life, the four seasons, four directions, very important. Each direction has a teaching. Each direction has a spirit guide. Each direction has a color. So a lot of times you'll see the different colors. Based on my teachings, in the east, I have yellow. I have blue in the south, red in the west, white in the north. When I look in the sky, when the sun rises, I see yellow, the yellow sun. Then I see the blue sky. When the sun sets, it's red. And in the north, I see clouds, white clouds. So that's the colors that I use based on my teachings and my ceremonies. Now some people will have based these four colors on the color of people. The red people being us, the yellow people being the Asian or the, the, the Eastern people, um, white being the white people and black being the black people. Now that is it also another medicine wheel that is out there based on people's teachings. I do not use black in my medicine wheel because black is a very sacred color used in death ceremonies. So I, that's why I, I have blue. Now, when I always teach people, I say right now you're made of four different areas. Mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. You cannot exist if you take one of those areas away. Once again, like the four elements. Also, if you're not happy right now, it's because one of those areas is not getting attention. Either physically, you're not working out, or you're not taking care of your body. Emotionally, maybe you're not sharing your emotions, or you should be. Or you're not getting emotions you need. Mentally, they say if you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. That's why a lot of elders are always doing crossword puzzles, and they're doing games, and, and people continue to do education, and continue to read. Keeps, the, keeps it sharp. And most importantly, spiritually. No matter what faith you follow, you need faith. So, and, and then also in all four areas, if you do things in all four areas, you'll have balance in your life. Balance leads to happiness. And that's what the teaching about the medicine wheel is. The end result is to, you know, to learn about one another, to share with one another. Because in the end, we, all nations, all colors, are the same distance away from the Creator.